Hello, this is Dr. J back with some more Let's Play Class of Heroes Anniversary Edition. Last episode, we explored another labyrinth and defeated another puppet girl, and now we've arrived at Mashlenia Academy. So, let's see what one of these fabled other academies is like. Oh, okay. I do not remember the arena. That, that doesn't mean that it wasn't there in the original game, because I've forgotten a lot of things. Uh, but I don't know if this is a new edition for the uh, anniversary edition of the game or not. Oh, really? I'm guessing this was in the original and I've just forgotten, but I don't know for sure. That's really interesting, though. That kind of makes me want to, uh, to refight some of the bosses we've fought. Alright, so here we are at Mashlenia. Can we do anything here? Well, as it turns out, we can use their facilities for starters. That's pretty sweet. They also get very fancy music. Sounds quite Japanese to me. Quite Japanese flavored. Uh, but let's... yeah, first of all, let's go ahead and rest up at the dorms. Breeze is getting close to a level. Cecily's sort of middling close. Oh, once Grisa hits level 13, that'll be exciting. Does their store have anything interesting? Well, for starters, let's sell some... Oh, we have things to identify. Okay, now it's becoming less Japanese and more... Oh, oh, it's a... Uh... It's a remix. It's a remix of the uh, the main theme, I think. That's really cool. Okay, now it's back to sounding Japanese. Anyway, it's a really cool theme. I like it. It's pretty awesome. They get a cooler theme than Particus does. Oh wow, look at all this stuff I hadn't identified. Anything else? Okay. Yeah, let's uh, sell things that their only purpose for existing is to be sold. Now let's organize... like the wedding ring, for example. Oh wow, cooked, oh, bleh. cooked onigiri is worth uh, 660. That's pretty good. I'm gonna sell one. Heck, I'm gonna sell the black tea too. Yeah, this is the part that sounds like a remix of the main theme. I really like it. Magic bronze coin. Okay, that's about it for the pure sellables. Can we access storage from here? We can. All right, just a moment while I put some things in storage. I'm gonna keep that Wyvern Summon ticket. Oh, Warding Salt doesn't even stack. That's a little brutal. Keep that splendid lunch. Full HP refill is pretty awesome. Okay, cool. What else can we do? Okay, so I recall that there is a point where you come here and uh, you meet a bunch of NPCs. You meet other students and faculty of Mashlenia, and there's like quests and story and stuff. I guess we've come here too early. And we don't have any of that yet. So we can still come here and use the facilities, but we don't get any of the story stuff for any of the NPCs. So I'm not sure there's actually all that much to do here. <coughs> Excuse me. I guess we could check and see if they have any special quests. Hey! Oh, okay, maybe I just had to take orientation. Mashlenia orientation. I'll graciously show you around Mashlenia. Posted by Estreta. What a fancy name. Let's take this. 
Okay, we do get to meet some of the NPCs here. I just had to take the quest. Hello, Estretta. Well, you're very fetching. You're you're like a hotter version of Cecily. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have fun with the dialogue for this one. Okay. You you seem like the snobby type Estretta. You do s well. I was gonna say you do seem classy though, but you're a little insulting too, aren't you? Mhm. Mm Mm hmm. Uh, sure. Okay. I feel like she had a different name when I played this game. Like it was Estella instead of Estretta. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just completely misremembering. Oh wow, seeing an old elf is kind of weird. <laughs> Hello, Vima. I noticed that you go out of your way to call a prestigious. Hmm. Well, if there aren't many people, it kind of sounds like it's on the decline. Interesting. Aha. Uh -huh. It still sounds to me like it's in decline. A bit self-indulgent. I mean, she kind of seems a bit self-indulgent. How would we answer? Ridge usually speaks for the party. I kind of have him as the party spokesman. And I feel like he, he would try to say nice things about her. I'm going to say no. <laughs> I'll bet some of my party is tired of her. Put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Vima, you seem very aware of Estretta's characteristics. <laughs> Half an hour. Okay, bye Vima. Interesting that you trash talked one of your students for 30 minutes to us. Wow, we were we were just standing around waiting for an hour. Okay. Gracefully walked out of the building. I see. You you actually are very self-indulgent, Estretta. <laughs> Did she say it? Well, she kind of talked a lot of trash about you. She kind of did. <laughs> I, I feel like maybe we should say no, she didn't say anything about you. <laughs> So the students chose to keep quiet. I I vaguely remember this part going differently when I played this game 16 years ago. I remember this being like the exact opposite, where the principal actually lavished praise on Estretta, and then if you try to share that information, uh. The game says something like, but Estretta already has a huge head, so the students decided not to say anything. So it must be that I chose the opposite choices when I played this game the first time. And interesting, so the principal then will either lavish praise on Estretta or just verbally bash her for half an hour, depending on which option you select. Interesting stuff. She has something you don't. Oh, my cat is now in the way and I cannot read what is being said. Hold on, cat issues. Go, go ahead and sit down, girl. Yep, sit down so I can see. Oh my gosh, please sit down, cat. All right, she left. <laughs> Good lord. She doesn't have my... That's true. That is a true statement. 
<laughs> I don't know if it's an appropriate thing to say, but it's true. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with the dialogue while interacting with the Stretta. <laughs> But overall, it made for a fun day. <laughs> okay, well that was interesting. That's part of the reason I was going a little slowly through the dialogue was to give myself time to add my own character's responses. Because I have a feeling that's going to be pretty funny. What Date me! Estreta just posted a quest to date me. Obviously, you would never refuse. I'm pretty sure Ridge wouldn't refuse. We're gonna take the quest. <laughs> Ridge is forcing the party to take this quest. I will have you accompany me on. <laughs> Estreta, you would be hard to put up with. A diplomatic political activity that will ensure good relationships. <laughs> I forgive you. <laughs> I can't make myself hate Estreta. I very much get the feeling that she's a complete marshmallow underneath the snotty exterior. This is unrelated, but my family is famous. Thanks for letting us know, Estreta. Okay, bye again. We're, we're, we're dating her, apparently. She made us do it. But some of my party members were, were pretty into it, actually. No, we don't want to stop associating with her. I think she might actually be lonely. Hmm. Oh, you seem to have a fair amount of awareness, Vima. <laughs> Honestly, I... I actually find myself pretty willing to put up with her. Bye, Principal Vima. You're carrying the things, of course we are. I I can take the hint. Uh-huh. We'll we'll go get it for you. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> no, that's totally what you meant, Estreta. Oh, you bought it. Okay. Well, look at that. She bought us an expensive juice. See? She does have a nice side. <laughs> mm-hmm. I can see why you developed a little bit of a haughty attitude if that was your upbringing. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> why, Estreta? Do you... You have certain feelings for some of my party members or something. Today's date, I mean, walk is over. G goodbye. <laughs> and she scampers off. You know, despite her issues, I kind of get the impression that Estreta really would be pretty dateable. Well, that was interesting. Okay. Well, it looks like there's no other quest to take right now. 
Can we report anything here? Oh, we can talk to Estreta. <laughs> Alright. Oh, we can report in at the office. We can talk to Vima. Okay, anything else to do here? Well, there's the arena. I kind of want to check that out. Let's go ahead and make a save. And yeah, let's uh, we'll see what the arena is all about. Okay, so the Gao did count as a boss battle. And the thief. The Scissor High Lord did not, which is a little strange to me. But uh, so Gao, the thief, and the puppet girls all count as boss battles. Well, why don't we have a fight with each of them? Oh, we can increase the level. I wonder if you're more likely to get good stuff by fighting them at a higher level. I have no idea, to be honest. Let's try fighting it at level 10. Oh, he doesn't even have the adds. We're probably just going to one-shot him. Oh! Oh, wow, okay. Oh, he was surprisingly kind of tough. I mean, sure, we killed him real fast, but he, uh, he messed up our party. Wow, that's not bad experience. Huh. This might be a good way to, uh... Like, do we actually get that experience? If so, this might be a great way to grind. I don't know if we get to keep the experience or not. Let's fight the Thief at level 10, too. Vol- Wow! Okay! He's pretty freaking brutal, apparently. Yeah, that was rough. All right, let's uh, let's get serious, I guess. Okay, we got him. Oh no, cat! Do not do that. We do get real experience from these fights. I wonder if death is permanent in them. I mean, by permanent, I mean that dead characters are actually dead after the fight. It seems like a potentially amazing way to grind. 33, great. Also, she now has her triple strike. Wow, death is not even permanent. Why would you not use this for grinding? This is incredible. And I don't remember it at all. I, I'm still wondering if this is new for the anniversary edition. But yeah, she should have her new skill now. Fierce Slash. Unleashes three fierce attacks. Awesome. We're definitely gonna have to try that out. We haven't gotten any special items yet, but I don't know what special items you can even get or what the drop rates are. Let's take on APAT again real quick. And let's try out the new... Oh, you have to focus before you can use the triple strike. Okay. Interesting. She might not even live long enough then. Nope, she sure didn't. Oh, we got paper. Let's fight Casmo. Let's uh let's hit you a side beam, actually. And Rachio. Uh, yeah, there's focus. Oh, these boss battles. So, what was that paper? Was it anything special? Well, she failed to identify it and got scared by it. Interesting. Alright, well, we all know what time it is. 
Yosh, Yosh. Now identify it. Ya diva. Good lord, she can't identify anything. Wow, we have another Wyvern summon ticket. Oh, we got the dwarf card. Don't those normally cost an insane amount of money? Is that the special drop we got? Synthesize to create items that can be equipped by that race. Huh. How do you use it, though? That's a little unclear to me. Interesting stuff, though. Well, that is pretty cool. I think that we've basically done what we can do here at Mashlenia for now. I, I had remembered that that whole scene with uh, Estreta, or Estella, as I think she was originally called, and the principal. But like I said, I'm pretty sure I took a different conversation path uh, originally and got different uh, uh, different dialogue as a result, so that was all pretty interesting. All right, well, let's go back to Labyrinth Exploration. Let's check the world map. Ah, we can go to Yam House next, and we know that we had the Labyrinth key for that. Oh, and if we wanted to, we could use the Wyvern ticket to fast travel, but let's not waste it. Let's save it for when we really need it. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and go to Yam House. Forest. And knock another Labyrinth off. Ooh, this is a new, uh, new aesthetic. We do not have a map for this. Well, I wonder if I should check the store to see if they sell a map for it. Let's do that real quick. I never did check their store properly. I forgot to do that. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm an idiot. I forgot. Oh, oh my God. I can't believe that. That's fine. I'll just reload. I had made a save, so that's fine. No big deal. Yeah, yeah. And Zero Dibu. Zero Dibu. Zero Dibu. <laughs> Kento Maho to Gakuen Mono. Kento Maho to Gakuen Mono. Alright, reload. Don't be stupid this time. Let's check the campus store. Do they sell the map? Uh, what category is map even under? I still don't know what's up with this Shishamo. It looks worthless. I don't know why it's so expensive. Not seeing anything too impressive so far. No, not really. They just sell the same crap that Particus does, really. So, it, from uh, what the principal and Estreta told us, it doesn't sound like this place is so much more impressive than Particus after all. Like, it used to be a big deal, but now it's in sharp decline. Here we go, Yam House map. I was hoping they would have it. Other than that, it doesn't look like they really have anything particularly good or interesting. Alright. Sorry for that little bit of derpage. But, uh... You're, you're probably used to, uh... You're probably used to it by now. Okay. I like this aesthetic. Let's, uh, let's change up the... The dungeon BGM again. Sure, I'll go with that. Okay, this is a new one. And this is one of those five floor, or five, uh... Five map dungeons. Alright, we may not get to the labyrinth for this place this episode, because we've got a whole... We have a whole unfamiliar map to explore. Let's experiment with uh, focus. And then the triple attack. 
Oh, this guy's uh, not easy to hit, apparently. All right, let's try Fierce Slash. This may not be a good opponent for it. He seems very dodgy. So I might want to hit him with uh, magic attacks instead. Oh, we got gold off of him. Okay, well, she did a lot of damage with it. Man, these skull herbs are irritating. No trap, is that true? Apparently. Despite the fact that we got hit by some spells, nobody looks too hurt. Let's do some identifying real quick. Ripped Lady Top, I don't think we care about it. Okay, failing, failing, backbone. Torn Institute boots, sling minus two. Gold powder, okay. Block of wood. Man, none of that stacked with stuff we already have, that's irritating. Also, let's uh, turn on the lights. And I I have learned my lesson. I think we're late in the, enough in the game now that we want we basically want Floator on all the time. I think. Oops. Good lord, encounter rate. Get out of my face. Okay, we didn't accomplish much, did we? We're struggling. These monsters here are pretty tough, I guess. Their level is close to ours, so... Get him! Okay. We would have needed Floator anyway to explore the deep water. But, uh, I think just on principle, it's a good idea to have it once the game starts throwing a lot of electric tiles at you. Oh, this is very dramatic music. But yeah, something about Estretta strikes me as a... Uh, a snotty but classy tsundere type, kind of. Uh, you, you could get like a dating sim visual novel going with Estretta as one of the... Uh, one of the dateable characters. <laughs> I mean, you basically get that in miniature with the date me quest, which just cracks me up. Magic drain, huh? Go ahead and disarm it. Arrows, interesting. Let's do some more identifying. Poison arrows minus one. Don't we already have exactly that? Oh, good lord, Cecily. You've been a problem lately with all this getting freaked out trying to identify items. She's probably in a snip because I'm sure Ridge was all over Estretta and she's throwing fits about it. Like I said, I'm going to have a fun time with the, uh, with the dialogue for that one. Okay, I just ran away. That's fine. 
Oh, this is a weird layout. Yeah, I like the viney aesthetic. I guess that makes sense since we're heading to a forest. Huh. Is it really a dead end? I think we've learned to be suspicious of things like this. But well, so it appears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That message is so meaningless. This is a bizarre layout. Oh yeah, absolutely I'll use it. I have some pretty hurt... What?! Her stamina decreased. What does that mean? Did she lose stats? I didn't realize that could happen. I'll never use them again then. What the heck? Uh... I mean, her strength and vite are still huge, so... I don't know what her stamina decrease means. She didn't appear to lose hit points. I guess I'm not going to worry about it. But, uh, you know what? As long as we're at it, um, go ahead and heal us. There we go. Okay, so... Watch out, the magic capsules can have a bad effect. Now that we know that, yeah, I'm probably never going to risk using them unless I'm really desperate. Okay, doesn't seem like it should be scary. Go ahead and breath them. Okay, yeah. Joke fight. Oh geez, it's spilling over into Grease's inventory now. I don't think they'll live long enough to rob them, but try anyway. Okay, I stand corrected. Nice, 64 gold. Interesting, so that teleporter put us in the middle of this corridor. Also, I saw that there was an electric wall, so I might want to watch out for spinners. But I'm probably going to be sloppy and just move quickly anyway. Oh, we got anti-magic zone. That's irritating. That's irritating. Okay. Oof. Cecily does not have the MP to spare for running out of float. Good. Oh, that is obnoxious. Another one. Oh, that is obnoxious. We're gonna run out real quick. I knew it. Gosh dang it. Oh, this is like that striped map all over again. It's like that all over again. Should I bring lean if we're going to explore this? I kind of feel like I should bring lean. Ridge is still two levels away from getting his magic wall. That's when he's going to feel borderline irreplaceable. But for now, he's probably the most replaceable member of the party. Hmm. You know one thing that I seemed to remember that didn't happen is that you can make new characters at Mashlenia that have different art from the Particus characters, but maybe that was actually Ranslate where you can do that. 
Well, we all know that we're just going to enter another anti-magic zone and immediately, yep, not be able to progress, but... Alright, we need lean to get through all that. Okay, and then you get teleported back to here. Interesting stuff. Yeah, that's just like the striped area. Oh, we, we really do need to come back with lean. Oh, they're tough. Oh, wow, they're tough. Good lord. Lovely Tiger Jet is no joke, apparently. I'll uh, tell you what, hit her... Oh, wow, wide heal. Oh, have I... I don't think I... I checked this latest uh, round of spells that Radar got. Let's take a look. Wide heal, restore more hit points to multiple allies. Shimmerus, light orb attack against an enemy group. Limber, undo paralysis, death. End an enemy's life. But go ahead and use heals up on... That never lets me select somebody. Restore all ally hit point. I'm one ally, but it doesn't let me select them. We'll just auto-target Akari then. That's weird. That it doesn't let me select the target even though it's a single target thing. Yeah, that's very strange. Oh, 208 gold, pretty good. No trap. All right. Uh, yeah, just, oops, I didn't want heal us. Sorry, that was the wrong one. Heals up is what I want. Yeah, just auto targets whoever is the lowest on HP, it seems like, that's weird. Although I think that I had just uh, put everybody to full by accidentally picking heal us anyway. You know what, I think I'm gonna head back because our inventory is overflowing, we kind of realize we need to put Lean in the party if we want to explore this place properly. Actually, how do I get back? I don't even know how to get back. That is a problem. It obviously must be possible to get back. The maps are not poorly designed enough to hard lock you. So, alright, well, step one is find our way back. Well, let's remember that it's symmetrical. So, we are currently in this, which means we just have to turn north and we'll reach the, uh, the route onward. Yeah, right there. However, we have not opened the portcullises because we haven't found the magic key. So for now, we're just going to have to proceed. Oh, man. Well, this is actually kind of a problem. Because, sure, I can get back by using this, but that'll take me back to Particus, not Mashlenia. Oof. Ugh, that's kind of irritating. I'm a little irritated by this. I got kind of screwed out of being able to go back to Mashlenia easily by this striped anti-magic zone nonsense. Oh well, it is what it is. We'll go back to Particus for now. Okay. Well, now that we're back, let's do a little more identifying. Another ripped lady dress with junk. Oh my gosh, Cecily, enough. Enough! Get over yourself. I know that you're having hissy fits because Riginus and Stretta were getting along so well. But you've got a job to do. Um, okay, right, it was in Breeze's inventory. None of this was even difficult stuff. Why, why were you struggling? Whatever. Broken Talor. Wood. Okay, is that everything? Uh, okay, so... I want to think this through real quick. 
Um, let's check the world map. Hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking how I want to do this. Maybe I'll leave that particular path for later. And for now, maybe I will actually go along... Gosh dang it, it's making it hard. Go along this route, where I go to Holdea Range and then Yam House Forest and check out the labyrinths there. And then depending on how our party is doing by the time we've done that, maybe then I'll cut across to Mashalinia and get that path. One thing I'd like to do is maybe grind in the arena a bit uh, to get Ridge up to level 13 so he has Magic Barrier. And that will be a good place to grind Lean as well, so she can keep up with the rest of the party when we decide that we need to bring her along. But, yeah, for now, I think the next thing I'm going to do is go to Holdea Range and then Yam House Forest. Uh, so that's going to be what we're going to do in the next episode, and I'm going to off-screen some inventory hygiene and stuff as usual. So, I'll see you next time.